Hey guys, it's me Dominique. Um, coming at you guys with a new video. This is gonna be a tag video. Um, I saw that Nothing's Impossible 77 did, and I wanted to go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. It's called the History Tag. And I got just wanted to let you guys know a little bit more about me, even though I'm pretty transparent on my channel. Um, I just wanted to come in and do this tag. First question. Were you a planned baby? No, I don't think I was a planned baby. My mom had me at 19, and um, her and my dad weren't married, so I don't think I was planned. Were you the first? For my mom's, yeah, I was the first. For my dad, I was like the fifth. <laughs> I don't know. I think I was the fifth. I have to count and see. Um, were your dad? Were your parents married when you were born? No. Um, what is your birthday? January 4th. I'm 27, so you guys can, I guess, give me the year or whatever I was born. <laughs> I was born January 4th. I'm a Capricorn. I like to think that I'm a Capricorn by the definition of a Capricorn. Um, of course, I'm not exact Capricorn. I'm not like every other Capricorn, but nevertheless, I'm a Capricorn January 4th. Um, parents married or divorced. They were never married. Are you an only child? No, I'm not an only child, but for some reason, a lot of people seem to think that I'm an only child for whatever reason. I don't think I act like an only child. Um, I would hope that you guys don't think I'm an only child. I never thought I was an only child. My mother has two kids. I have a little brother. He's about 23, and we grew up together, so I don't know why people always assume that I'm an only child. I don't know. Are you the oldest, middle, or youngest? I am the oldest of my mom's children, and I'm like fourth or fifth with my dad's children. I have to count. I'll leave an annotation. Um, which parent do you get along with the best? I get along better with my mom, obviously, because I've only had a relationship with only my mother. I didn't. Well, I've mentioned on numerous numerous videos about not having the best relationship with my father, not having a real relationship with my father, so. Yeah, I have the best relationship with my mom. I get along better with my mom because that's all I really had a relationship with. Um, do you have step parents? Um, I I like to say I have a stepfather. Um, him and my mom were never married, and they're not together now. But um, he came into my life when I was about twelve, and he was a part of my life up until well, him and my mom were together up until. Um, I was about 19 when I got pregnant with my son, even after my son. Yeah, it was, yeah, until I was like 19, 20 years old. So, um, I consider him to be my stepfather, even though they're not together anymore. Um, I don't see him as often, but we do see each other from time to time. Um, I can still call him or whatever, so, yeah, I would like to think he's my stepfather. So, yeah. Do you have more than one best friend? Yes, you guys have. You guys have met both of them in numerous videos. Both they both been in the videos together, and I've done separate videos with just one or the other. Um, my most recent video, I will leave an annotation link for you to click. Is Girls Not Out, and that's the video that I have with them, and that's Sandy and Bea. What? Well, Sandy and Beatrice. But I call her Bea. We call her, some people, like family members and us, we call her Bea. And some people call her Bea. <laughs> what do you like to do when you when you are together? Um, We like to talk. We do a lot of talking. We talk every day. Like, I talk to them every single day, all day. When we're together, we talk about everything. We like to go out to eat. We like to go to the movies. We like to go to like do different things that involves our kids. We we do a lot together. Um, do you share the same interests? Yeah, we do. For the most part, yeah. Um, me and Bea share a lot of the common, same common interests because we're like kind of the same type of people because we're both Capricorns. But there's a lot of stuff that me and Sandy share more of an interest than me and Bea in and stuff like that. Oh, 
which friend can you tell everything to? The both of them. I basically, I'm an open book with my best friends. There are three people in my lives that I can be very open with, and that's my husband and my two best friends, and I tell them anything and everything about me. So, yeah. Do you have low self-esteem? No. There was a point in my life I, I felt like I did have low self-esteem, but I, I went through a lot in my life, so... But at this point, no, I don't feel like I have low self-esteem. No, I think very highly of myself, but not to the point where I'm arrogant. But I don't have low self-esteem. Do you get depressed about things easily? No, I used to. But I went through so many changes in my life with having my children and getting married and overcoming so much. Like, I don't... So, certain stuff brings me down but not to the point where I feel depressed about it it brings me down for a day maybe two and then I try to just find an alternative a solution to it so no are you happy right now yes for the most part I am happy I have a couple of things in my life that has made me unhappy that I'm working on to make better but for the most part I'm happy I'm healthy I have two beautiful healthy children I have a great husband I have a great family I'm a so much, I'm a better person overall so yes I'm very happy and there anything else in my life that's not I will I'm not as happy about I'm working on do you live life to the fullest I try I'm kind of apprehensive about certain things but I think that's because because I, that's in my nature so I try to like do do things outside of my comfort zone are you comfortable with the way you look no I'm not at all um as you guys know I am I just had a baby she'll be a year in a couple of weeks June 22nd and I thought by this point I would at least be half of the weight that I was when I had her and I'm still nowhere near half of the weight and so I'm not happy with being this big. You probably guys probably can't see how big I am, but I'm not happy. I think this is the biggest I've ever been in my whole life. And I'm not happy with that. I'm trying to make changes. I'm trying to push to make changes in my diet and make changes in my exercise. Even like this morning, I wasn't able to work out at the gym, so I did insanity. Like I'm pushing myself to where I'm happier with my weight. And that's the only thing that I'm really unhappy with is my weight because I've never had like the perfect body, even when I, before I had kids, but it was good enough for me. So I'm working on being happy with my body. As far as like everything else, I'm pretty much happy with. <laughs> um, I do go back and forth on wanting braces, but I love my gap. I think once I get my chip fixed, um, I wouldn't care about braces anymore because I love my gap. Um, describe your hair this is a Malaysian curly uh, I, I'll leave the link if you guys are interested in the hair I love this hair I actually just washed it yesterday I, well I co-washed it and this is a Malaysian curly I'm 17 weeks post so I've been trying to, try to wear like different type of hairs where my 17 weeks post hair will blend. I tried to blend it as best as I could. I hope it doesn't look too bad. But yeah, this is my hair. And how do you dress? Well, I would like to say I dress comfortable. I try to go with the trends. I think it's because of my weight. I'm not really like a part of the trends and all the stuff that's hot right now. But I still try, I still dress up, I still try to look good, um, I try to incorporate colors, but I'm all about the comfort, I'm all about the comfort, all in all, that's how I dress, I dress to be comfortable, especially now moving about with an infant, I'm really trying to be comfortable, so yeah, that's how I dress. Strange child, um, I think I was, I think because I'm so much more different than a lot of people in my family so I think I used to say no the reason I really say I'm a strange child is because I look at my son and 
my son is so much like me in personality somewhat is like crazy and when my mom tells me like every, anytime he does something my mom was like was like it should be like looking in the mirror Dominique and I'm like he's so like he's so different so I think I was a strange child because I look at my son and to be told that my son is so much like me and then to see certain things yeah I think I was strange um are you scared of growing old growing up old and alone yes I am I do not want to be even at this age I mean not to say I would put up on anything just to have somebody around but it's so much better to me. It feels so much better to actually be with somebody and share moments with someone. And I just don't want to grow up all in alone. Do you prefer indoors or outdoors? It depends. If it was a nice sunny day with the breeze, I don't mind going outside. I don't mind sitting outside. Um, but a lot of the times I be I prefer indoors because I prefer my solitude and being to myself um favorite season summer because so many things happen in summer i like i like the weather so do you like walking in the rain no <laughs> nah <laughs> um are you a vegetarian no favorite food i don't know right now it's jerk chicken the way my husband makes it i would, that's what i think jerk chicken with well, the way my husband makes it in his barbecue sauce what food makes you gag oxtails well sir I guess it depends on who makes the oxtails but I'm not the biggest fan of oxtails um what is your favorite dessert um brownies I don't know I'm just throwing something out there do you believe in love at first sight? Yes, but I more so believe in love at, well for me, I believe in love at first conversation. <laughs> um, best gift from a husband. What was my best, my best gift from my husband? I don't know. Because my husband has given me a lot. Although I don't think my husband is the best gift giver because he's more of I'm going to just give you a gift that I think you would like is versus I'm going to give you a gift that I know you'll like because even with the children with the children like I buy the gifts because I read like my son and my daughters and my stepson's personality better so like he'll be one to like say for instance if like one holiday we brought my son a playstation and he brought my stepson a playstation too and i'm like well but i don't think he would really like that because he's not really into games like that he was like well they're the same age they may must like the same thing so when that the next holiday rolled around and when he realized like that wasn't really my stepson's forte we ended up buying my stepson more stuff that he would enjoy so back to the, the gift um I don't know my husband is giving me a lot that I've appreciated. I think the best gift that my husband gave me um, when we first started dating, um, he gave me a book because he knew like, I was really into reading, and he took me to Barnes and Nobles <laughs> and brought me a couple of books. Um, have you ever been in love? Yes. Have they ever loved you? Yes. And I think that's the end of the tag. That was the last question. Um, all my social networks will be below. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned about me. And until next video, I'm out.